What is going on, everyone? The Houston Texans Super Bowl window is right now. They finished their 2023 campaign seeing 10 wins during the regular season, an AFC South Division title, a home playoff game, and then seeing their two rookies, quarterback C.J. Shadwin, Offensive Rookie of the Year, and Will Anderson Jr. getting Defensive Rookie of the Year. Then they saw their head coach, D'Amico Ryans, lose out on the Coach of the Year award by one vote to the guy that he blew out in the wild card round. Everyone type in the comments, D'Amico Ryans robbed. He should have been Head Coach of the Year. The Houston Texans should have swept the NFL awards. With that being said, it doesn't take a genius to see that there is something special brewing down here in H-Town. That's why it doesn't surprise me when I see Stephon Diggs talking to former Houston Texans players about the city and the organization. It doesn't surprise me seeing Marcus Spears on ESPN saying, go get Saquon. It doesn't surprise me seeing Jamar Chase in the Pro Bowl telling C.J. Stroud, I know you want to play with me, man, come on. But it's not just head coach D'Amico Ryans, C.J. Stroud, and Will Anderson Jr. There is other key foundation parts of this organization. Wide receiver Tank Dell, cornerback Darius Stingley, linebacker Christian Harris. I honestly think that the Texans are pieces away from really contending for a Lombardi trophy. So when you talk about a perfect offseason for the Houston Texans, well, they already got it started going hot with bringing back offensive coordinator Bobby Slowick and quarterback coach Gerard Johnson for one more year. So we are going to look at what the Houston Texans need to do to get themselves ready for contending for a Super Bowl. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ruben Calvillo. I drop daily Houston Texans content. This episode was brought to you by my friends at Underdog Fantasy. Use my promo code 713HOU for a bonus deposit up to $100. And guys, thank you so much for watching today's episode. Now, when it comes to cap space for the Houston Texans, they are currently sixth highest in the NFL according to over the cap with $57 million. Now, that cap space number could increase by some moves they could potentially make. This is a tweet from Jeremy Branham. Potential Texans cap casualties to increase their salary cap space. Wide receiver Robert Woods, $5 million. Safety Jimmy Ward, $4 million. MJ Stewart, two and a half. Lineman Kendrick Green, $1.3 million. Edge rusher MyJ Sanders, $1.16 million. Kadar Holman, $1.1 and tight end Tegan Quitoriano just under $1 million. When you add them all up together, you are potentially saving $15 million by cutting this group of players. Now, the top two, veteran wide receiver Robert Woods, I mean, I just don't think he has anything left in the tank. Started the season strong for you, built up a connection and trust with C.J. Stroud, but we didn't see that towards the end of the season. And Jimmy Ward, we were excited for agency when we got him. We knew he was going to be a captain for us. But so many injuries throughout the year. Finished the season on IR. I am saving that $4 million and spending it elsewhere. Now, like I said, we just saved 15. Here is how the Houston Texans can save potentially 10 to 12 more million dollars. And that is with restructuring the contract of Pro Bowl left tackle Laramie Tunsil this year. This is from our guy John Crumpler, lead analyst from the Texans Wire. This is his article where he talked about Laramie Tunsil restructuring his deal. The mechanism of the restructure is relatively simple. It would require the Texans to pay Tunsil up front to lower his 2024 salary cap number as close to $1 million as they would like. This could generate up to $11.5 million in cap savings, which is more than enough for a priority free agent or to, in, or, sorry, or to create generous breathing room on other signings. Now, this is potentially $26 million that the Houston Texans did not have and now they do. Go out there and get you some of the best talents. And like John just mentioned, some generous breathing room. You still have to pay your draft class. If you want to do some restructuring, some bonuses, you can absolutely do that with this extra $26 million. But now the Houston Texans are rocking. Everyone should be a target. 
bring as much talent you can while C.J. Stroud is under that rookie contract. Now, when it comes to free agency for the Houston Texans and you're talking about the perfect offseason, it starts with Justin Matabik, a defensive tackle from the Baltimore Ravens, a game changer on the defensive side of the ball. Coming up of his first Pro Bowl season, only 26 years old, guys. He is about to enter the prime of his career. Played in 17 games. There is no injury concern. 13 sacks, 56 total tackles. 12 tackles for loss, and 33 quarterback hits. And this is the exact type of defensive tackle that the Houston Texans need. Someone who could get to the quarterback. I mean, 13 sacks at the defensive tackle spot. It's absolutely insane, but also be dominant in the run game as well. Now, Baltimore is not just going to let him go. They're going to do their best to keep Matabike a Baltimore Raven. But this is why you made those moves to give yourself an extra $20 million in cap space. If you have to dish out the bag for someone like Justin Matabike, then I am totally 100% on board. He is that type of player would transform this Houston Texans defense. Another player that I am looking at and everyone should be looking at Saquon Barkley running back from the New York Giants. We've talked about him before. ESPN's Marcus Spears said, go get Saquon. His stats this year, 962 rushing yards, six rushing touchdowns, and then gave you 41 receptions for 280 yards and four touchdowns. Look, the only knock on Saquon is the injury history. However, in four of his five, I'm sorry, in five of his six seasons in the NFL, he's played in no less than 13 games. Scared money don't make money. And I think this is the exact same situations like the 49ers were in right before they traded for Christian McCaffrey because he himself had injury concerns. However, they did it. And you could argue that Christian McCaffrey in the past two years has been one of, if not the best running backs in the NFL. That's the type of of player I think Saquon Barkley could be and just think about how dangerous this Houston Texans offense could become. And my final biggest one of the offseason, safety Xavier McKinney from the New York Giants. You are just taking talent from them, but played a full 17 games this year, three interceptions, 11 pass breakups. That is crazy in 2021. 10 Pass breakups and five interceptions. McKinney is a ball hawk in safety when he is healthy, ladies and gentlemen. And that is a concern. However, still very young, about to be 25 years old. I think this could be a great addition to this defense, to this secondary. Brings a lot of fire, brings a lot of swagger, that swarm mentality that you want to see. That's what Xavier McKinney is. And you just need some, you know, someone back there that can make plays for you. You only had one interception this year between Xavier, I'm sorry, between Jimmy Ward and Jalen Petrie. I wouldn't mind Xavier McKinney at all. I think that would be fantastic for the Houston Texans. Now, guys, we're going to do this video again. Whenever we get more information on these upcoming draft class, we do more mock drafts, we see the combine, then I could also give you a Houston Texans perfect offseason with the NFL draft. But real quick, if I could just give you some names at 23, I would go with Quinion Mitchell, cornerback from Toledo, uh, with our second pick, Edrin Cooper, linebacker from AM. With our third selection, I think it's 85th, I would take Roman Wilson, wide receiver from Michigan. But once I have better research, I'll give you a video on that. Ladies and gentlemen, for more Houston Texans content, you guys know what to do. Come back and follow me for more. Go H-Town. Have a very blessed day.